Hey guys, this is Steve Blackfly. Um, hope you guys are doing well. I just want to do a, a quick review, um, in my opinion, of this little, of my little classic Clark Fork pontoon that I bought. Um, I needed something to get on the water as I'm waiting for my new kayak to come, so I, um, I bought one of these and I'm actually really happy with it. It's a lot of fun. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Like I said, it is, it's the classic accessory cart fork. Uh, it's an eight foot model. I, um, it only weighs like 40 pounds. You can carry it really easy over your head. Uh, the seat's nice and comfortable. And the seat folds down. It's got a little, on the back, it has a, a small deck. And so what I did is I, I ordered some, bungee cords and some some clips and stuff and I made my own uh, crate. I bought the little crate at Home Depot. I'll give you a better angle of it here. And then I just I, I liked it because it fit it measured to fit this little deck space that I have nice. Um, it holds you know I can put four 3700 boxes in here if I need to. And then I made the rod holders out of PVC pipe so I can carry four rods. I'm trying to go more primitive um, and just take the bare necessities when I go out for just a, a few hours. But um, one thing that I really like about this is it's got these you know, these side storage compartments here. I've got a whole Gatorade bottle in there. And then I'll show you guys you can fit. This is just a leash for my phone. Um, that I made and you can see I've got a headlamp I've got these these little storage compartments these side compartments you can fit at least two of these 3700 size um, boxes which I'll show you this is th and this is enough tackle I carry I carry this and then you just switch out the baits, so you know, according to what I'm going to be doing, uh, according to water temperature, what time of year it is. And then I got another little micro box in here that's kind of like my finesse crappie fishing box and a trout. Got some uh, chartreuse dip. My my headlamp. I just put man, one thing, guys. I put an LED bulb on this. In this, this is an old Princeton incandescent headlamp, and I'm too cheap to buy a new one. So I bought a bulb and I replaced it with a LED bulb. Man, it's crazy. I mean, it, it it's like way, way, way brighter. But anyway, sorry guys, get off topic. I, I got ADD. And I just got my pliers. I keep a rag with me. I clip my pliers right here. And they're also clipped to the pack. So that way I don't drop them. I just tuck them down in there. Keep my hook sharpener clipped on too so I can keep my hooks good and sharp it rows really easy and then I one little tip that I'll give you guys uh, is that uh, your oars these aren't the best oars but you know this, this whole boat only costs 240 bucks so you're not investing much and it has you know, it's got heavy PVC on the bottom but these paddles these oars this ring right here has a tendency to slide and you can see so what I did is I just wrapped a piece of electrical tape around it and then I put a zip tie and cinched it down and that keeps it from sliding and so I can just let them dangle in the water or I can put them back there most of the time they're just dangling and then I got a little net just a little net I leashed on you know I'm, being a kayaker, I've gotten used to leashing things up because I've dropped stuff in the water and lost it. Um, these uh, pegs, I guess you'd call them, or foot stands, they're adjustable. You just pull the pin and they slide in and out. Um, you can inflate, deflate real easy. It comes with all the connections you need. You, you do need a pump. I'm trying to think of anything else I can tell you guys. It's really light. It's really stable. It's fun to fish out of. I can carry it by myself over my head. Until I get my Titan, I'm just having a blast with this. 
Oh, and then also the flippers that I got. And these are backpack flippers and they're designed to go over your boots in cold water. I wear waders and I wear my wading boots and these just strap over it. But like today, I'm just wearing my my Nikes and I, and I just strapped them right over my Nikes because I want to be able to have something that I can get out and walk on shore if I need to. And then snap the flippers back onto my feet. But it's just a good little inexpensive way to get on the water and if you can't afford getting a you know an expensive kayak or a kayak right now it's just i thought i'd just do a quick video and just recommend that you guys try this it's it's i'm really impressed with it it's just fun it's also fun to float down the rivers but oh, i'm freezing anyways guys i just wanted to go over that with you hopefully you enjoyed this little review i'll uh I'll link all the stuff down below so it's easy for you guys to find. I'll link the I'll even link the boat if you guys want. But yeah, it's just it's just been a, a fun little kick boat. Like I said, I've really enjoyed it. Look at that beautiful look at the mountains guys, isn't that beautiful? Out here in Utah, in Pine View Reservoir. But anyways guys, that's gonna do it. This is Steve from Black Fly. Uh, signing out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I like the way I can just turn this with my flippers. Okay, Lord. Could use a couple crappie. There we go. Good little fighter. Okay, so that. I'm going to note right now that fish was about 30 feet out, probably about 12, 13 feet of water. Thank you, Lord. Oh, a nice crappie. Strong fish. So you guys can see he ate that, uh, nice little, nice slab, just let him go, pretty fish.